I've been mass producing parts like crazy the last couple days. Um, and now I'm going to take the whole thing apart. Here's this robot with uh, a lot less pieces on it. You know, the pieces are down here. Um, just so I can get to some parts that are hard to get at. Uh, and now I've got these piles of screws that I have to do something with. So, I decided to make a fancy box out of some of that polycarbonate that I have so much of. So, just going to uh, drill a hole in here and, a, and one in there and put a pin in. And then it'll have a hinge and a lid. And then I can fill it up with my screws. Cool. I can even use it for a fish tank later if I want. So there goes the UPS guy, and I got some ball bearings, again. How do they make these for 30 cents a piece? It's incredible. So since I've uh, increased production, I don't really have time to eat anything except junk, unless I have shakes, as in blendered. And there's lots of fruit and stuff in there, so I should be alright. Here's my buddy who's been keeping me uh, company for actually a few weeks now. That's only about five feet away from where I've been welding all day. I think he's just gotten used to it and doesn't care anymore. Anyway, every once in a while he likes to wrestle the leaves like crazy. Let me know he's still there. Alright. Alright, I've just spent about an hour getting this lined up. And uh, I've got shims and screws and things jammed in and bungee cords, but it's right where it needs to be. So now I'm going to weld some things from here to there and on the other side too. And here's my little brother back from school. He's apparently taking apart a piece of a tree with a hammer. Maybe I should get him to use those skills for something useful. Earlier he was pounding nails into the uh, lawn. That was pretty sweet too. Whoa, look at those muscles. Holy cow! That's one serious dude right there. Alright. <laughs> There's those pieces I was just talking about. Man, those are hot. And then these are in there too. And I know what these look like, but no, they're not legs. Okay, got another one of those in place, and I'm about to get yelled at that I need to go make the french fries for dinner. I'm getting yelled at for making the french fries for dinner? For not. For not. <laughs> Do you need me to hold this camera for you? <laughs> no, I was done. Okay. Slider number one and slider number two. Now every time I make one of these, it gets little uh, chunks of aluminum stuck to the track. So I have to refile it. And here's one of the many burns I've gotten. Alright, I'm going to have to go make ten more of those slider things. And in case you didn't notice, I'm tired and don't feel like talking to a camera. Now these two slider pieces had previously been... Uh, taken out due to quality control. However, the one I just made wasn't as accurate as these ones, so I'm using them. Just don't tell quality control guy. So newspaper guy just came and took a bunch of pictures. And uh, yeah, so that seems to be happening. <clears throat> and now I have to attach this thing to here. And to get it lined up right, I put these nuts on and those kind of go in these holes to hold it in place and I don't need nuts there but it'll make it a lot easier to hold this where it is so they're just going to get welded into place and they'll probably come loose and rattle around inside this here pipe but uh, that's alright, I don't care and finally this thing on the side is back on And it's much smoother than before.
complete. All holes threaded. Now I'll be amazed if the stupid thing actually fits. Oh my god, it does. Sweet. Okay, just a few more to do. Oh, and let's not forget that the tops of these bolts here have to be ground down about halfway so they don't scrape along here. And so it actually fits. Now I wanted to mention that when you clamp two things together like this and you don't want them to move at all, sometimes a good idea to take a little bit of grit and just put it on there and then clamp them. And then they really won't move. All holes done and threaded. And ball bearings attached. And now to deal with these. Alright, my batteries ran out in my camera just as I was filming the last thing. But anyway, I put the other uh, bearing on there. I have a whole bunch of those. And please ignore the uh, fact that I just referred to it as filming. There's no film in this camera. Alright, I'll do the rest of these suckers tomorrow. Time to go running.